Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. You know, I've been at the Wynn Resort in Las Vegas now for over 19 years. And I've met a lot of great customers over those years. Become friends with many, many great customers. But I have one in particular that uh, I've become really good friends with. Um, and when I told him about the channel I was starting up, he became very supportive of the channel. Gave me a lot of great ideas. Um, anyways, he has a family recipe that dates back to 1921. It's a fish sandwich that his grandma Ruth started. This sandwich has won so many awards at so many festivals and uh, state fairs and things like that, that it's, it's legendary. Well, he gave me the recipe. I'm making it and it is legendary. So you're gonna wanna make it too. Probably the best fish sandwich you'll ever have. We're doing the next, stick around. All right, let's get started. First, we gotta make the tartar sauce. No good fish sandwiches without good tartar sauce. One tablespoon Dijon mustard. Three tablespoons mayonnaise. A couple splashes of wash your sister sauce. We're gonna come back with some Dill, about a teaspoon. We're going to do a splash or two of lemon juice. And then about a tablespoon of dill relish. We'll give that a mix. And then we're going to add some fresh ground black pepper and some salt. Then we'll mix that up and we'll pop that in the refrigerator for about an hour or two and let those flavors all coagulate and start to work. And while I'm doing that, if you could please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment if you can. I really appreciate it. I thank you all for watching the channel. And you're going to love this sandwich. I'm telling you, if you're a fan of any kind of fish sandwich, this is a home run. All right, so we got the tartar sauce in the refrigerator. Now it's time to make the batter for the fish. Two cups of pancake mix. A half a cup of cornmeal. A teaspoon, I'm sorry, a tablespoon and a half of baking powder and salt. Then we're going to start off with one cup of water and start to mix it up. You may have to add a little bit more water to get to the consistency of batter. I had to add a little bit more water to get to the thickness I was looking for for the fish batter. But I didn't want to go too thick because I'm going to put this back in the refrigerator for an hour. And it will thicken up in the refrigerator. So once I got to where I wanted to be, we popped that in the fridge and let everything sit. Well, time has passed. Let's get started making this sandwich. First off, I wanted to take my hamburger buns. I got the potato style hamburger buns. And I'm just going to put them in the toaster oven and get them all toasted up have those ready to go then I'm going to pull out my Dutch oven fill it with some canola oil and I'm going to bring that up to about 350 degrees I'm using four four or five ounce cod fillets for this fish sandwich I've squeezed out any extra water, so we're going straight into flour. And from the flour, we're going into the batter. And once it's totally coated, we'll drain off any excess we have. And we're going to go right into that hot oil. Just like that. 
And we're going to do two fillets at a time. So we'll do the second one the exact same way. Flour, batter into the oil. And they're going to cook for about five, six minutes until they get nice and golden brown. And once they're golden brown, we're going to get in there with our tongs. Oh, uh, look at those. They're perfect. And we'll set those on some paper towel to drain off any excess oil. But there really wasn't a whole lot of excess oil to these. Okay, we'll do the other two. And then we'll come back and assemble the sandwich. So I'm going to put some tartar sauce down on the bottom bun. Then a piece of American cheese, deli style. And then I'm going to grab two cod fillets that we fried. Put those right on top. Then another slice of American deli cheese. And that is going to melt because those cod fillets are still very hot. And we're going to top it with tartar sauce. Put the lid on, and you have an amazing fish sandwich. What really sets this off is the lemon juice and the pancake batter, or pancake, yeah, the pancake uh, mix. Really adds some amazing flavors. Anyways, try this fish sandwich. It will be the best you've ever had. I thank you all for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.